This is Twit. I uh, I noticed one of there, one of your uh, one of your jobs. Uh, I know you consult Chris Messina. I noticed one of your uh, one of your clients is Neva. Yes. So sad about Neva. I've been I've been flogging Neva. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. For you know months. He has been. Oh, he has been. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love the AI generated uh, synopsis the at the beginning. It's mm -hmm. it was. I was paying five bucks a month because I didn't want ads. It was. Uh, now they're they're selling out and they're uh, and they're closing down and they're refunding my money. Uh, do you have any insight into what happened? You know, it's it's. Um, I started out kind of you know advising um, Sridhar. Um, certainly, there was there was a lot of alignment in terms of what Neva was working on. He was at Google, head um, of advertising at Google. So, yes, yeah. yeah. So we have we have that that background together. Um, but you know, I, I think there were a number of things that happened. You know, they they did a bunch of different and interesting experiments. There was a whole effort that they had focused on around Web three and NFTs and kind of you know just trying lots of stuff to see you know what the next wave of the web might be like. And, you know, I don't, I don't have any specifically insider information about this particular thing, but I think the thing that he said, which is the thing that I would, I mean, we saw this with Google plus as well as hard is like changing behavior. Yeah. You know, even if you have a better product, um, just the muscle memory and the distribution that Google has um, is really, really difficult uh, to break through. Yeah. And so, you know, like it's interesting, you know, one of the reasons why I reached out before was, of course, talking about, you know, Twitter and ActivityPub and those things. And we face a similar question, you know, as to whether or if some of these other networks that are coming up now, where it's where, like Google doesn't even have, I mean, Google has some network effects, but for the search experience, it's largely a private personal experience. And yet the muscle memory is so ingrained, you know, you almost have to like, you know, do some psychedelics or something to just like, you know, break free from like the way you think about it. Um, but I think that was that was the thing that Neva really, uh, you know, struggled to to overcome. It's the it's tyranny a, of the default. It's the default. Yeah, uh, absolutely. you know, I, I kind of was souring on Google just because the the above the fold stuff was less and less. Oh yeah, search results. <laughs> I just I just kind of said mm -hmm. I need something that's going to give me search results. Uh, Neva gave me very, I think, pretty good search results. And then when they turned on mm -hmm. the AI, I was I kept showing all these these poor guys are so bored with it. I kept showing it to them. <laughs> Uh, June second. Chris, Chris, do you ever use a, shut, shut a AI search engine called Find P H I N D? Find P. I have not. P H I N D dot com. Check that, it out. It's. I'm looking great. for a Neva replacement. I'll have to check out AI yeah. search engine for developers. Ah, and for developers. Yeah, oh, for it's developers, code. But it, I don't okay. know why it's for developers. It works for all purpose uh, searches. Hmm. Have and you tried you, a perplexity a Google like result and also okay. an AI chat GPT like result ah. side by side, uh, and uh, it's it's it's. Pretty good. Quite good. Yeah. Nice. I think perplexity is sort of in the, in a similar realm. I think it's perplexity.ai. Um, it's, it's interesting how like there's a new, it feels like a standard in, in interface design that was largely inspired by chat GPT where it's sort of like chat box, mm -hmm. but then they give you yeah. sort of like starter conversations to get going. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. The Neva thing is, is super interesting. Obviously, you know, they'd raised a bunch of money uh, to go after this problem, but I think the the LLM stuff changed everything and it woke up the sleeping giants and now it's like game on. And so it's Microsoft versus Google. And as an upstart, you know, had had like ChatGPT and, and OpenAI really not come on the scene as they did, I think Neva, you know, could have had their runway and continued, you know, chasing that dragon. But uh, yeah. now that, that the big guys are, are awake and actually like launching their stuff, like Google had all this stuff, you know, behind closed doors, right. um, that makes it much harder, uh, you know, with that as billions of dollars of investment you know, to do the same. Yep. It's midweek and you really want to know even more about the world of technology. So you should check out Tech News Weekly, the show where we talk to and about the people making and breaking the tech news. It's the biggest news. We talk with the uh, people writing the stories that you're probably reading. We also talk between ourselves about the stories that are getting us even more excited about tech news this week. So if you're excited, well, then join us. Head to twit.tv slash TNW to subscribe.